Welcome back at 6 a.m. Let's get an update on this morning's breaking news. A deadly crash in northeast El Paso. Police are on the scene at Gateway North and Ellerthorpe. Police have confirmed one person is dead and that two vehicles were involved in the crash. Officials say the area is going to be closed for the next few hours as the investigation continues. The Ellerthorpe exit on US 54 is expected to open up again around 11 a.m. And now to more overnight breaking news. A pedestrian is dead after being hit by a train in the lower valley. Good morning, it is 728. I'm Daniela Pardo. Well, breaking overnight, a man under arrest now following a SWAT situation in northeast El Paso. The man accused of stabbing and killing an off-duty Border Patrol agent first assaulted the agent's wife. That's according to a police report. As we reported, Isaias Lopez is accused of stabbing agent Isaac Morales early Saturday morning. Documents state Morales and his wife were walking to their car from a bar in Far East El Paso when Lopez came up to them and pulled out a knife. The documents say Morales ignored the confrontation at first. Guilty of capital murder. That's the verdict for a man accused of the 2013 stabbing of a 32 year old woman. Jurors handed down that verdict yesterday for 36 year old Jesse Vasquez. Prosecutors say he killed Miriam Aguirre inside an apartment in Segundo Barrio. Students, parents, and teachers from Socorro ISD gave the district a big two thumbs up in a recent survey. About 39,000 people took part in a school climate survey. <laughs> A tense confrontation overseas involving the president scolding world leaders yesterday at a NATO meeting in Brussels as they stood just feet away. And now controversy over what the president didn't say to our allies. New information this morning on yesterday's breaking news. A man killed in a deadly crash in northeast El Paso. It all happened at Ellerthorpe and Gateway North. Police say a 20-year-old man was headed north on the gateway and rear-ended a semi-truck that was stopped at a red light. The 20-year-old died on the scene. And as you'd imagine, this is raising some questions. NC9 at noon's Chorus Nylander is live at City Hall in downtown El Paso. Chorus. Tearing down gender violence across borders, UTEP and Mexico City's Universidad Autónoma and La Ciudad de México have signed an agreement to address gender violence in their classroom work. Police have identified the man shot and killed in northeast El Paso. It happened just before 10 Wednesday night at the Autumn Manor Apartments on the 9900 block of McCombs. Police say officers found 25-year-old Kareem Hewitt inside his apartment with multiple gunshot wounds. Political drama has returned to the city of Socorro. Last night, the city council voted unanimously to remove Mayor Gloria Rodriguez from office. The time now is 634. Now to an update on yesterday's murder investigation from West El Paso. Police now say a group of people got into a fight at the Royal Wing Sports Bar parking lot. A 30 year old man was somehow hit in the head and was still recovering in the hospital at last check last night. They say another man, a 28 year old, was hit by a car and was killed. Police have not made any arrests at this point. Well, he's pulling a Taylor Swift singer John Mayer admitting his new tune is about a very famous California girl from his past. Then yesterday, officials revealed that the FBI has new information suggesting possible coordination in the release of information damaging to Hillary Clinton. Texas Secretary of State Rolando Pablo sat down with News Channel 9 for an exclusive interview to talk about how he and Governor Greg Abbott's administration have the city of El Paso as one of their top priorities. And as Blaine just mentioned, the new health care bill has drawn criticism from both parties and has some Republicans concerned that it won't receive the votes it needs to pass. A Texas Texas Democratic State Representative called the new plan dangerous. Now to an update on yesterday's breaking news. Police have yet to identify the teen girl shot in South Central El Paso. Welcome back. Your time now is 619. A mega entertainment center could be coming to Northwest El Paso. A group called Trans Mountain Partners says it's planning a new 90,000 square foot entertainment complex that will feature a movie theater, bowling, laser tag, and two bars. The center could go up at the intersection of Trans Mountain and I-10. Developers say they're waiting for economic incentives from the city of El Paso. And a quick reminder, city officials will be holding a series of open house meetings for the controversial downtown arena project. Officials say the meetings are designed to increase community awareness about the history of the multi-purpose cultural and performing arts center project.